a warm welcome for IRF Summit co-chair, Katrina Lantos-Sweat. Good morning, my friends. It's a little hard to continue after that incredibly powerful testimony. I know you were stricken in your hearts as I was um, to hear what Tursene has experienced. And if anybody is wondering why you are here at this first Earth Summit, I think you now know the answer. And I want to say to Tursene and I think to every single one of us here that in the words um, of the story of Queen Esther in the Old Testament, perhaps for such a time as this, we are here gathered. I have another task this morning, which I am honored to fulfill. It is my privilege to introduce our next speaker, who is not just a speaker, she is the speaker, the speaker of the House of Representatives, and we are fortunate indeed to have a special message from Nancy Pelosi to help us kick off our Earth Summit 2021. I have known Speaker Pelosi for more than 40 years, and I have watched with admiration as she has ascended to the very pinnacle of power in our nation's legislative branch. No one doubts Speaker Pelosi's strength, savvy, and extraordinary political skills. Each of those attributes played a key role in her historic achievement of becoming the first woman to serve as Speaker of the House in 2007. And she made history again when she regained her position in 2019. It's a remarkable record, but the Speaker hasn't just held this august position. She has made the most of it. In fact, the congressional scholar Norm Ornstein described the 111th Congress over which Speaker Pelosi presided as one of the most productive Congresses in our nation's history. There is so much to admire about this powerful leader, but I must confess that I have been most deeply impressed by the fact that Nancy Pelosi has somehow remained the same warm, deeply idealistic, and passionately patriotic mother of five that I met so many years ago. She has become stronger during the course of her life's journey, but she has not become hardened. She is an individual of deep and sincere personal faith who has a profound commitment to the cause of international religious freedom. Although she is not able to join us in person, we are grateful to have her message to start this opening plenary session of Earth Summit 2021. Speaker Pelosi. Thank you. Good morning. As Speaker of the House, it is an honor to bring greetings to the 2021 International Religious Freedom Summit. This important event offers an opportunity to demonstrate our ironclad commitment to defending religious freedom, which has always transcended party and politics. Indeed, there is no greater affirmation of a strong bipartisan unity on this subject than this summit's honorary leadership. Senators Chris Coons and James Langford, Congressman, Congressman Henry Cuellar and Chris Smith, and Ambassador Rabbi David Zapperstein. And I salute the co-chairs for making this event possible, Ambassador Sam Brownback and President Katrina Lantos-Sweat. Katrina, thank you for carrying on the spirit of your late father and my dear friend, Tom Lantos. The only Holocaust survivor ever elected to Congress, Tom devoted his life to shining a bright light on dark corners of oppression, and this summit lives up to his beautiful legacy. The freedom to pray openly and think freely, to speak our mind and follow our conscience, these are essential, universal, inalienable human rights. And they are enshrined not only in the First Amendment to the Constitution, but in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Yet today, millions of innocent people around the world suffer pain and persecution simply because of who they are and what they believe. Many heroes have even bravely put their lives on the line to defend the basic human right to pray, to conscience, and to belief for every person. 
All freedom-loving people share an urgent moral responsibility to stand up and speak out against these human rights violations. That is why, in 1998, Congress passed the International Religious Freedom Act on a strong bipartisan vote. This legislation affirmed the essential right as a pillar of our foreign policy, creating the ambassadorship for religious freedom and establishing the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. I was proud to appoint this to this commission, Nori Torkel and Anna Rima Bart Gava, both of whom you will hear from at this week's summit. Today, Congress continues to support persecuted communities who are fighting for their freedom. As we just heard from Tornase Ziawudun, the Huyar community faces an existential threat from Beijing, which is a challenge to our conscience. We have and will continue to speak out because, as I always say, if we do not speak out against human rights violations in China, indeed anywhere, because of commercial interest, then we lose all moral authority to speak out on human rights violations anywhere. So this week, let us renew our vow to continue the fight to secure international religious freedom, as your conference theme so eloquently articulates, for everyone, everywhere all the time. Best wishes for a successful and productive summit. Thank you.